who would have known when I started attending Chicago Discovery Academy, one of the four small schools in the Bowen campus, that after a consolidation and the reviving of the name Bowen High School, that I would be standing here today having the distinct honor of representing my school and the class of 2013 as your valedictorian. As some of you may know, I am from an island in the Caribbean known as Puerto Rico. I came to the mainland United States when I was five years old. And like most people that come who come to the United States from another country, I face a language barrier. I only know Spanish, and because I only know Spanish, some of my classmates decided to make fun of me. Thanks to my teachers and my own hard work, I am proud to say that I am now fully bilingual, fluent in my native Spanish and standard English. <laughs> Throughout these four years at Bowen, I have learned so many things. One of those things is that wherever you go to school, if you try as hard as you can, you will achieve your goals. No school determines your future. And as my teacher says, hard work pays off. There are many people who have helped prepare me to face my next stage in my education. And without the support of these people, I probably wouldn't be here today. First and foremost, there's my family, who throughout these years have been nothing but loving and supportive. My friends who always motivate me to go beyond everyone's ex expectations. And because they believe I have been destined to be something big in the future. And my teachers for always being there for when I, when I needed them. In my family, there are six specific people I want to thank. One of them is, of course, my mom, for always telling me to keep my head up and motivating me to obtain a higher education. Ma, gracias por siempre darme todo el amor y apoyo que ha necesitado. Yo no estaría na nadie en este momento. Tú has construido un hombre fuerte que nunca se dará por vencido hasta que lo su sueño. My dad, George, for always being there. My sister, uncle, grandparents, and godfather for always believing in me. And all of them for guiding me to where I am today. I promise you that, that this man you all have built will not forget everything you have done for him. Some of my teachers have also been like family to me. Missy, who is like a second mom, always being there when I needed someone to talk to, and being persistent in making me apply to as many scholarships as I can. Without her, I wouldn't have a full ride to Florida Memorial University. <laughs> Mr. E and Mr. Singer for being the best mathematics, te mathematics teachers I have ever met. Their, <laughs> their passion for teaching is what I think drove me to getting more involved with my community. Ms. Tyree, <laughs> Miss Terry, she is simply awesome. She is the first teacher who has ever made me like English classes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nelson, who always believed in me since day one, and always motivated me by calling me one and a half. <laughs> Mr. Zayer and Miss Rodriguez for always helping me achieve higher than my expectations. Ms. K, for being the best. I think her economics class was the class I enjoyed the most. <laughs> Another teacher I would like to mention is Mr. McGee. Mr. McGee wasn't our teacher since the beginning of the year. And adjusting to a new teacher isn't easy, especially if our first was one of the best. But he never gave up on us, not even when we were hard-headed. And we appreciate everything he has done for us. Ms. Matthews for helping me realize which was the best university for me. And lastly, our principal, Ms. Kermit, and our assistant principal, Ms. Abdullah, for not giving up on us like most of our past principals have. They knew the <laughs> They knew the ride was going to be bumpy, but they settled, settled up and took it head on. 
I'm concluding my speech by saying to all of my fellow graduates, don't let anyone or anything determine your future. You are the only person in charge of your destiny. Don't let comments like, you aren't good enough, put you down. Because I was told that before, and look at me now. I will close by reciting one of my favorite quotes by Ralph Walter Emerson. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Woo! Thank you.